So what happened to muscle protein? Well, leucine oxidation, this is amino acids burned for energy, dropped about 30% on average with individual reductions from 18% to 41%. So that means that less amino acids are being wasted for fuel and more for conservation, for muscle, for muscle retention, for muscle building. This is enormous. Now in the medical setting, this is enormous for people in the hospital who might waste muscle, meaning you're bedridden and you don't want to atrophy, right? Let's say, well, let's say you're immobilized. Let's say you're in a cast, right? Like what does this do for that? That's why they study this stuff, guys. They don't care if I could put on an extra two pounds of lean mass this year. They care. Can they keep people from decaying in their hospital bed? right? Fractional mixed skeletal muscle persistence increased five to 17%. That's about 10% on average. So that's a real, real legitimate measurable bump in synthesis. Leucine flux. So that is a, another word for leucine breakdown. It did not rise. So the net effect was anti-catabolic plus it had a small anabolic push. What does that mean? means it didn't just help them keep muscle, it actually helped them build muscle. So matching the pH of the bicarbonate did nothing to leucine oxidation or synthesis. The effect was in fact from the BHB, not just from the alkalinity. I don't think you guys realize how huge this is. So the thing is, hormones like insulin and glucagon did not change meaningfully. So it's not an insulin thing either. So it's not just maybe it affected insulin. Nope, didn't do that either. So why should you care? Well, when you diet, train hard, travel, miss meals like I do, the body loves to burn amino acids. BHB acts like a hands off the muscle, like stay off of that. Stay off of that. Use me, use fat instead. And that also makes sense in the fat loss data I presented earlier. While giving a small nudge towards muscle building less protein burned, and slightly more built. That combo preserves lean mass and supports better body composition in the real world. This lines up perfectly with the weight loss data that I presented on this channel a month ago.